How you guys doing? I've been getting a lot of questions on how to how to pack a tarantula, you know, in a box. So I was gonna do that. I'm gonna do the whole tutorial on packing, packaging, what I do with my boxes, do everything. Just see, we got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> uh, this box is actually a little bigger than I use. It's a 12 by 12 by 12. I usually use an 8 by 8 or 10 by 10 by 10. But it really doesn't matter. It's, it's the packing. You can use one as big as you want to, but I don't suggest it because the heat pack won't work good or the cold pack. Uh, Basically, I'll go through the items. Uh, since it's hot temperatures here in St. Louis, it's around oh, 95, 100 degrees. I use a cold pack for a larger box. I use this cold pack. Smaller, 8x8, eight 6x6, eight, six six, I'll use this. The reason being is the can take cold a lot easier than it can uh, heat. So basically, I've had a king baboon that was completely almost frozen. I thawed it out and it lived. I'm just saying. The heat, once they get hot, they're dead. It's my dog's in the crate, sorry. But uh, this is the, I always line the boxes with styrofoam, which I'll be later in the tutorial. But this is all the pieces, the lining for styrofoam. I actually had to modify these. It should be one piece, but I ran out, so I had to do it this way. Fragile stickers, tape gun. This is the moisten, this <laughs> paper towels. You don't have to use something this big. It's, it's overkill, but that's what I use. Uh, the paper towels, which we'll line this with. This is the containers I use. I get these from Walmart. They're Gladware. Reason being, it screws on, you can tape it if you want, but a lot, lot sturdier. This is the uh, six, seven inch peer, mature male Peter Gallus uh, fluff. He's the one that bit me. Everybody's probably seen that by report. Oh my God. Uh, syringe to moist, you'll see what all these tools are for once we get to it. This is just an overview of everything. And then the next video is gonna be, uh, my wife's actually gonna show you how to make the, uh, do the package. She actually does all my packages, all my uh, containers. She doesn't wear it very, 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 very well. So, yeah. But uh, we'll get to that. That's my dogs in the crates. They're a little agitated because they want to be out here soon. It's going on. It's all right. Pack you up in the box. You'll be quiet. Nah, I'm just kidding. They're my boys. But uh, next video will be over her doing the uh, container. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, my wife's going to demonstrate how she how we uh, pack the. Uh, this is basically this is uh, see how tall it is. That's for an orbital tea. This is for a terrestrial tea. I'm going to open that show them. She just packed this real quick. Terrestrial teas, they're just going to sit in there. There's the lid. And then they sit in that little hole, this little hole right here. Which, you know, the object is to make so the tea's kind of tight in there, it doesn't bounce around. Yeah. That's perfect. It's a little moist. It's good. I'm not allowed to show my wife's face on the film because she, 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 it's late and she's tired. So. <laughs> so, my requirements for helping. Oh, yeah, is that your requirement? Yes. Okay. That's funny. You wouldn't know if I did anyway. Until it was already on YouTube. You know my account login, though, I would. <laughs> I'll remove it. Yeah, no, All right. no, you wouldn't. All okay, right. what are you doing here? Taking a paper towel and folding it over and over again to make put on the bottom. Kind of start it. So it's really nice and this, padded. This is the padding. Yep, for the bottom. And you'll see what we're talking about with the bottom. Yeah. Basically, we're creating a den. The tarantula wants to be in a little hole. It basically, it won't bounce around. If it does, it'll hit the paper towels and not the sides. Yep. That's what kills them. There you go. Rolling around. I'm a little more jerky with the camera than my wife. I hope you'll realize that. Sorry, guys. She's done a lot of packages for me. So she's rolling it, rolling around. That's the first one. That's just a start. That'll get pushed down. Now, what she'll do is she'll take a sprayer. You don't have to use a big one, but just a little bit. Just a little. Not a lot. Don't go overboard with the moisture. Everybody does. Not everybody, but a lot of people do. Well, it's paper towels. If they get cold, it just makes it even colder, colder on the tea. Or hot, it or makes hot. it even hot. Mm -hmm. They just absorb whatever's in the you got to make sure. Well, any of my teas that are shipped, I can say this right now, I make sure they're watered. Not Do not heavily feed a tea you're in a ship, though. That's bad on the admin, but I make sure they have a lot of water. I actually isolate them in another cage with some water and make sure they're watered very heavily. What she's doing, she's just circling it around, making it like a hole. And that, that hole in the center is where the tea will basically be, like a little burrow. It's like a cork bark high, but made out of uh, paper towels. Mm -hmm. One after another. I wouldn't use one in a cage, though. <laughs> not sure if they'd like that or not. Huh? Do a this is, you got to adjust the hole to the size of the tea, also. Yeah, it's kind of This is only this is six inch per, per gal. It's not that it's more leggy than it is, but they, you know how pokey it is. They can go in a pretty small hole, and that's where they like to be in you know, a little snug place. And the more you squish it down, the tighter it gets. Yeah, yeah. So it's a more compact. It's gonna take a little while. That's all right. It's 
Select a size doesn't work as well. Huh? <laughs> select a size doesn't work as well. Oh, really? Is that, is that a, you have a preference? I'm sorry about the wrong paper towels. It's my fault. Yes, because then when you roll it, they're splitting. You know what, though? They clean all my messes, don't they? You do make a lot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you want to be on film? <laughs> no. <laughs> Every wife out there who's watching this knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is that, is that a fact? <laughs> yeah, let's go with the bag. <laughs> And she'll spray it, just squirt yeah, between the layers. Just, just you could do that with a hand sprayer if you wanted to. I can do it with anything. You I wouldn't suggest spitting it. No, that would probably be unclean. There's the hole the tea's going to be in. As you see, it's getting deeper and deeper with each layer. Shorter container for smaller ordeals. And don't, don't pack a tea the night before. I don't think that's a good idea either. I always pack them right before. That way they're less, less time in transit. You know, I don't know. That's just my opinion. See, it's getting deeper. The hole is. That don't sound right, but it's alright. Oh. They're used to you. Are they? I think so. Can you see the hole? <laughs> yes, I can. You see, it's about that deep now, guys. So the hole is from here, here, to here. Like a burrow. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Exactly what it is. He's gonna love it. He's playing like a bear. <laughs> yeah, this tarantula is my tea. It's not for sale. I'm doing this sort of demonstration. I won't stress them out too bad, but I'd rather stress out one of mine and someone else get killed because it wasn't packed right. Maybe this video could maybe help. I'm not saying I'm the best packer in the world, but I have never had a DOA. So, knock on wood. Knock on wood. I don't ever want to even think about it. I'm superstitious. At the packing, I, I don't slack. I don't cut corners on packing. I just can't stand, you know, if someone received the tarantula from me and it wasn't alive. That that would suck, because you know you're waiting at the door, you know, we all are. Oh, yeah, and then you open it and it's dead. That sucks. Not to mention, you know, for the tea. I mean, it's a living animal, living creature. That's how it is, just layered paper towels. Probably getting close to the lid part now. Mm -hmm. Finish it. Is this the lid? No, one more roll, I think. Okay. I'm not sure there's any more for it. Yeah, it's kind of, it's enough. Yeah. I do need more moisture. She says she's pressing it down, but it's compacted and it come apart. Yeah. And moisture helps too. Oh, yeah, moisture helps to keep it firm and stuff. Now, the lid, as you can okay. see, guys, I'm going to pick this up. There it is, see? Look at that hole. See how that hole is? My face burns. Uh, yeah. I, this container here had a really nasty herring tea, and I gave it to her. <laughs> her mouth's burning. <laughs> yes, thank you. There. You like that? Here, just hold the paper towel up. So and force. So that yeah, so it's big enough to cover. And sometimes, if you have a little bit more room, then you you know you get another paper towel and you stick it on top, and you just make sure there's no room for anything to to shift or move around. And that's the container. It's kind of a like that. And you put the lid on. That's going to be your tea in there. The next part's going to be showing me how to how you get the tea in, probably, uh, and then uh, the next part will be uh, packing a box. God, I hope this this, this regalus just goes in there. They usually do. You really don't have to interact with them. It's it's not hard. All right, guys. How you guys doing? Uh, time to put the tea in. He's pretty skittish. He's 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 but uh, well, he's not going to be the easiest one, but. That's right, so I chose them. Take the, uh, take the, you know, get ready. I always moisten the top a little bit more. See how it's more pliable, it then fall apart, stays in contact. He needs to be able to sense this to go in there, pretty much. And then, um, well, he has the option to go in there, run or bite me. I think he's gonna try to bite me. <laughs> he's such a, I can't say it. He's awesome too, though. He's one of my favorites. He's only a, he's only a month mature, so he's ready to breed. What I do is I go like this, this little curved straw or anything like that. And if you do, if he does run, don't freak. That's the worst thing you want to do. You don't. You just want him to. I wish he'd just crawl, but he's not doing it. Can he stay through here? Yes. Now look. Where's he gonna go? There he is. Hold it upside down. Lid. So we snuggle down in there. Mm -hmm. oh, perfect. Put this down. Put this down. 
This is when this, this tool here comes into play. Tongs I had just for safety. This is a food injector. You can buy them anywhere. Certainly can't do drugs with this. I would hope not. I hope not either. I would never really take that, man. I'm just saying. Take it and I squirt water in four places. Like this. Make sure you don't poke into them. I mean, you can. It's pretty. You have to be pretty much a moron to do that. And then this, you know, around the edges. That keeps paper towel in place. What I'll do then, get another full one. Just a little bit. I, I don't go crazy with the moisture. That's just so it forms good. Push it down a little bit like that. He's going to live. It's that simple. He will. Unless, you know, he's lost for two weeks. Actually, I've had one last for a week and arrived alive. So this is how I pack them, no matter what. You know, this is a dollar of the paper towels. It's, it's worth paying the extra money for, you know it's going to arrive alive and you don't have to worry about it. Next part would be packing the box. That's the most important part, too. That's, well, all of it is. There's not really a more important part. This is, it's all important. All right, guys. All right, guys. One thing I didn't mention is you need to put air holes in a container, too, which is pretty much given. I have taken him out. He's not in here. I don't want him to. There's no reason to pack them in the box. <laughs> I got this is, this is just showing for demonstration. Okay, here's your box. Uh, most important part is styrofoam, as you see. I'll explain why these are cut. They shouldn't be. But uh, the bottom of the top, I do is take the styrofoam. I like it really tight. Add stability anyway. Okay, there's your bottom piece. Side pieces. It all nice and snug in the box. These are supposed to be, you know, single sheets, but I didn't have a 12 piece, a 12 inch piece, 10.5 inch piece, so I had to make two. It's not going to hurt anything, it'll be fine. You get the idea what to put behind it, right? I'm sure. There you go. It should be one piece, it looks better. But there you go. This is the lid. I'll go right here. Completely sealed. Not sealed, but you know, there's air, it can still get through to see the gap. But, okay, first part will be uh, the container. What I always do, I'll wrap around the container. Not around the top, that's where your holes are. It's like that, you know, and that's just for extra padding. It's not necessary, but I do it. And paper, never put it just in there. That's a big no -no. I like to put a little bit of a, a little bit of padding in there. And then you there. Which it's padded anyway. For a big box like this, I suggest a cool pack about this size. What I do is you take this, take your cold pack, fold it. Yeah, just fold it. And put it on the opposite end. The container is going to go here. Cold pack's going to go here. What? Nothing. You want to say something? Go ahead. No, no, nothing. That's the newspaper that wasn't supposed to be used. <laughs> oh, I used my wife's newspaper. Oh boy, I'm going to hear about that when we get off here. I know. He's like, I didn't put it there. No, I know. We, okay. we we cleaned all the papers up, and I that was a okay. Keepsake newspaper. I just realized is now in okay. the team box. Fine. That's okay. Someone gets an awesome newspaper. <laughs> well, anyway, put the cold pack here on one side. The container's going to go over here. Yeah. And what you're going to do, take your container. <laughs> and I'll put it right here. Sometimes I will tape them in, but there's no reason really to. I'll show you why. They want to get a lot of padding in between the cold pack. You don't want the cold pack or heat. This can be this can be the same hot weather or cool weather shipping. This can be a heat pack or it can be a cool pack. You know, the same, same, same exact thing. Do put the paper in between it. This is a larger box than I use. This would be something. Use a little smaller box. Same principle. Same thing. I mean, not, nothing different. And I literally. I don't use the ones like that. I don't like them. Hmm. I just, they don't. I don't know, something about them. Not real loosely either. I go pretty tight. Back 
it up. That's a lot of paper. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not used to boxes for these parts. The only one I had, I wanted to do a tutorial. I'm actually getting a Pima towel for tomorrow, and I went, this pack of is going to help someone pack them. So, you'll see. There's more to the story. You'll see. Later on. Out, guys, no joke. You don't want it going up and down, doing all that. So, uh, yeah, it's just basically fill the top nice and tight. That's a nice piece. Of there we go. And someone's gonna have nice, you know, when they open it up, they'll appreciate uh, the time. They will appreciate the time that you took to pack it. I mean, they're gonna have a live spider. That's something. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. I even put them in their hole like that. There we go. In the top. That's the I am. Sometimes I'll fill them up a little higher. This is when I use these. I know it adds weight. I don't care. I'll pay an extra two, a dollar or two for the, to make sure the tea lifts. The last part's your, uh, for the, this part is, uh, your lid. Look at that. It's not going to get hurt. There's no way. Take on. I do three on a box this side, three across. Chew down the middle. Put your label one side here. I'm gonna use this box eventually anyway. It's already cut, so <laughs> might as well. These are fragile stickers I get. $1.50 for all of these. You have your label here and you get the idea. You know, I put them everywhere because I'm not going to say any names, but this fragile means throw it around. <laughs> I'm convinced that they don't care. Unless you tell them it's, I don't know, I better not say that. But <laughs> you put, yeah, put your fragile stickers on the sides and uh, So I'm going to show you something, guys. He's not in here. Even if he was, he would be fine. This is what they do. I'm not saying any names. Uh, this goes here. That's what they do. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. I'm ser seriously not. So that's what I mean. You, you can't have a loosely packed. I mean, they have a truck. They're like, oh, okay, here. This goes, oh, no, this doesn't go here. Oh, where does this go? And no, that's that's how they handle it. They don't do, oh, it's fragile. Let me, uh, no, they're like, oh, okay. I've seen them do it. And I had told one guy, I said, if you did it again, his head would look like a box. He put it down in, but that, that's fine. Uh, that's that a pretty heated moment. He took, yeah, I, I paid for the thing and hit the shipping. He goes like that. Yeah, me and him had a serious issue. Except he was about 100 pounds lighter than I was, and so it wasn't good. But, uh, no, that's, you got to pack them to be, to take abuse like that is what I'm trying to say. And, I mean, before that box was flimsy, he didn't hurt it. It's solid. All right, guys, that ends the packing tutorial. I hope, uh, hope this helps somebody uh, answer some questions. All right, guys, have a good one.